Hey, what's up, guys? It's the man, the legend, Saint the Diamond. Colonel, reporting as ordered. Corporal Saint John, I'm hearing good things about you from Lieutenant Weaver. All right, you are. Lieutenant Winnegar, they say you're doing a fine job. Well, thank you, sir. I'm just trying to be of service. I've got another job for you. Drifters have set up camp southeast of here along Highway 97. They're using hit-and-run tactics. They hit our supply runs, then run back to their camp, like the cowards they are. It appears they've created a defensive position on the rooftop of an old gas station. I've marked it on your map. I've consulted Captain Curry, and he feels it would be best to send in a single soldier. Someone who works well alone. Who might be able to use the element of surprise. <laughs> of course. Sir, I can do that. It's always me. I'm always alone. Report to me when the mission is complete. Dismissed. I don't know who you talking to like that talking about dismissed. No, you're dismissed. Captain Curry, come in. Corporal St. John and Captain Curry. This is Curry. Dang, I feel like Tracy Morgan right about now. Several patrols have already been sent out. Curry's furious. Yeah, I'll bet. That was a good idea. Captain Jimenez was the only doctor we had. Oh, Taylor mentioned something about heading up to the ski lodge. I'm gonna go there and see what I want. Radio me if you do. Corporal. Corporal wants Taylor alive. Yeah. Copy that. St. John out. I'm like, I don't know. Good luck trying to get him alive, man. Like, what bro did is unforgivable. St. John reporting, and I'm at that position. Were my field reports accurate? Yes, sir, they were. Do you need reinforcements? No, sir. Like you said, I've got the element of surprise. Not like I'm gonna use it. Well, if I wanna use it. I always go in gun blazing, baby. Oh shoot. Who's shooting at me like that? Shit. Shit. There we go. Oh, shoot, who's... Oh, you right there? Of course it's been dealt with, bro. I'm St. John Deacon. Carry on. St. John. Corporal St. John. Yo, what's up, bro? Yeah, what's up? I need you to report to me ASAP. Hey, Colonel. Uh, yes, sir. St. John out. Alright, let's listen to this stupid speech the Colonel got. This day... As the sun sets on this island, it also sets on the life of a great man, Captain Arturo Jimenez. Doc, to many of you, is gone. Taken from us on the eve of our great victory, Captain Jimenez was murdered 
slaughtered. His life ripped from him. His blood, even now, soaks the tents where he toiled, hour after hour, tending our sick, our injured, our wounded. The great tragedy here is not that a good man needlessly lost his life, though for that I am indeed very sorry. The great tragedy here is that he could not be replaced. Dr. Jimenez was the only trained physician in our ranks, perhaps in all the world. My eyes have been opened. I see now the great mistake we have made. We have filled our ark with books and seeds and discs. Medical journals, medical books, and encyclopedia. We have. Well, it looks like he's not even talking. But who now? When this terrible war is over, will teach us how to use them. Journals can be replaced. Books and encyclopedia can be replaced. Doctor Jimenez. Okay, this has got to be the worst monologue I've ever seen in my life. Cannot be replaced. Suggest you do the same. Company dismissed. Corporal St. John, we have a situation. Hmm. When do you guys not have a situation? Okay, One of our soldiers has been taken hostage. Sergeant Melinda Foster. In charge of patrolling our eastern border along the 97 Yep, corridor. yep, yep. And That's you want me to go in alone. Pushed. Two men made it back alive. Sergeant Foster was taken. Melinda Foster. Do you know her? No, sir, I don't. I've marked her last known location on your map. I have full confidence, Corporal, that you will return her safely. You can count on me, sir. Dismissed, Corporal. Of course. I should like it. It's gotta be hers. Colonel, Corporal St. John reporting in. Sir, I'm at that location and the uh, camp appears to be empty. So you telling me you seriously don't see me? Oh, you deserve to get shot. Wow. That's how you feel about me? It's all looks like just another day at the office. Of course it's just another day at the office, bro. Cause I do this. Serge, how's your day going so far? Oh, Jesus, Corporal, thank you. It's going great. Just great. Do you need a lift back? You see a militia bike out front? Or did the bastards part it out? No, no, it's still there. Okay, I'm good then. St. John, right? Thank you. Uh, I can get back on my own. No, nah, you do that. Colonel. Found Sergeant Foster. She's heading back now. Thank you, sir. I'll uh, I'll check back in later. See how she's doing. Saint John out. <laughs> Colonel, sir, reporting in. Yes. Corporal Saint John, sir. I I wanted to check to see how Sergeant Foster was doing. Foster. Yes. Yes. She'll be fine. Thank you. The report contained high praise for your actions and bravery. You are to be commended. Well, thank you, sir. She's um, she's a survivor. We're all survivors, aren't we? Yes, sir. St. John out. St. John, you there? Yeah, Weaver. I'm here. Uh, hey, come to man. Listen, I never said thank you. 
And look, I'm just following orders. Gotta take Taylor out, man. I wish it never came to this, but there you are. It's come to this. He's forced my hand. Oh, you ugly piece of thing. Colonel, sir, reporting in. Yes. Corporal St. John, sir. I, I wanted to check to see how Sergeant Foster was doing. Foster. Yes. Yes, uh, it should be fine. Thank you, Colonel. The report contained high praise for your actions and bravery. You are to be commended. Well, thank you, sir. She's um, she's a survivor. We're all survivors, aren't we? Yes, sir. St. John out. I gotta find... Bring it on, all you junkies. shooting supposed to be there I, I gotta end you bro doc was a good guy man he fucking, he fucking helped me he helped me come on get up no i don't want to hang man <laughs> i don't want to hang i don't want to hang i don't want to hang hey, 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 Taylor. You kick and you kick Wade. and you shit yourself, all those fucks standing at attention, and they're laughing at you, man. They're laughing at you. I don't want to... I don't want to... Taylor, the time has come, man. Please. Come on, Taylor. Take it all. Don't fight it. Don't fight it. Don't fight it. That's crazy.
care what a man's done. We never leave him for the freaks. I can tell you right now, the Colonel's not going to be happy about this. Well, when we found him, he was already dead. Overdose. We recovered most of the drugs, not all. As if the world hasn't seen enough corruption and decay. As if the world isn't already filled to overflowing with mindless, soulless creatures. Take these to the infirmary. And this time, assign someone who isn't a goddamn junkie. Yes, sir. Well, we did it. We finally got some closure. Well, not closure, but I guess you could say vengeance for Dr. Jimenez. Um, it's not justice because, you know, life for a life is not really justified, but hey. Deacon, are you there? Deacon yes, I'm here, baby. To to uh, yeah, hey, I'm here. You sound kind of cheerful. I had a breakthrough. Look, all I needed was that DNA sequencer. I'm ready to test it. Deacon, I'm ready to test my serum. Wow, okay. Um, what do you need from me? I'll tell you when you get here. Sarah, out. All right, baby, I'm on my way right now. You want one alive? Oh, kind of hard to run tests on something dead. Here. What, what is that? It's a special tranquilizer. It'll help you knock it out long enough so you can bring it back here. I'm so close, Deacon. This could be it. Yes, ma'am. Deacon, come in. Hey, I was just heading out to find you a new... Okay, there's a specific one that I need, all right? A specific oh, wait, newt. A, a specific newt? Okay. South of here, just off Rim Drive, is an old resort cabin. It's now home to an entire colony of infected kids. Newts. Okay. Okay, so radio me when you get there. Sarah, out. Uh. Colony of newts. Oh, my God, this I guess. So that's what we're calling them now. Colony. St. John, report. Hey, Captain. I'm on a run for Lieutenant Whitaker, so I'm kind of busy at the moment. Understood. Report to me when you're finished. We're ready to test Beaver's weapon. Hurry out. <sighs> Shit. Well, so much for Sarah beating Weaver to the finish line. Sarah, I'm here. All right. You're looking for a young female wearing a red shirt. One of those kids' shirts that says, like, Teensy Tabby or something. I'm surprised the Colonel hasn't burned this place out yet. I told Matt the site was hands-off. I've been running blood tests on several of the youngest ones for months. I need them for the serum. Um, okay, uh, how am I supposed to get the one that you want without killing the rest? Look, I don't know, just... Just do what you have to do, okay? I need the female wearing the red shirt. So basically, kill him. There she goes. Got you, little shit. Oh, Jesus. I'm trying not to, but I got to.
alive one. <clears throat> you get a live one. Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. Uh, hey, Captain, uh, pistol over my bike. Uh, yeah, the Colonel doesn't allow for pets on the island, I'm afraid. <laughs> Uh, the lieutenant needed a live test subject. Uh, you two seem to be getting along well. You and Lieutenant Whitaker? Just doing my job, sir. I'll keep it professional, Corporal. The Colonel doesn't allow for fraternization between enlisted men and officers. Oh, no, no, no. I can't have any of that, sir. Right. Gary, Yes, sir. <coughs> okay. Why don't you just keep it real, yo? That's my wife. Come on, help me. Come on. So much for the tranquilizer. Yeah, well, the biologist is kind of fucked right now. What do you want me to do? I can't get the right dosage. Ugh. Here, hold on, hold on. This is what I've been working on. How long? Hold on, just a few seconds. He killed her? God damn. <laughs> well, whew, I don't know what she put in that. That shit went down fast. <laughs> damn it! So that wasn't the, supposed to be the. Was it supposed to revert? You're, you're not making a bioweapon. You're. Oh my god, are you. Are you trying to cure it I thought once I got the original cell line from Cloverdale that I could create antibodies for the virus and I could reverse engineer it Jesus and now all of that work everything that I have worked on is for nothing not 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 you know not necessarily I think it's gonna be able to change them back Get up, dust yourself off. Try again. Were you not seeing what just happened? Every cell in that kid's body just exploded. That's exactly why you can't quit. What? Because you called it a kid. Do you have any idea how many of these things that I've killed? And it never once occurred to me, you know what? That used to be someone's kid. You know, I met this girl once. And she used to talk about the freakers the same way you do. She used to call them sick people. I thought that was crazy, but she looks at them the same way you do. So you think I'm crazy? No, no. I think you're the first sane person I've seen in two years. You know, I still remember the night that I lost you, but I'm starting to realize it wasn't the night that I had left you on that chopper. It was the next night. Me and Boozer, we rode into that refugee camp that you were supposed to be waiting at, right? Except there's freakers everywhere. The choppers are on fire. There's people screaming, so many people. And so we fought, and we won, and what did we get? Bodies. Bodies everywhere. And I checked every corpse, every face. There must have been a thousand of them, maybe more. I checked every single one. That was the night that I lost. And Boozer. Boozer, you know, he's, he's just, he was just trying to keep me together for the next two years. But I didn't give a shit about any of it. And then I see this Nero chopper flying around in the sky and I start to feel something. I'm thinking, you know what? Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay, okay. Even if she is alive, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to find her right away. We're never going to look back because I don't want to be part of some militia. I don't want to fight no war and I don't want to live in some camp. So why are you still here? Because of you. All of this, seeing how hard you work, seeing how dedicated you are. Most people out there are just trying to survive, and here you are. Trying to save the goddamn world. Yeah, well. 
not doing a very good job. So you get up, you dust yourself off, and you try again. We're going back to Cloverdale. They get better equipment. We're going to dig into their research deeper. If you would do that, you would help me. Yeah, I would. I would because you believe in this. That's what a husband's supposed to do, man. Baby, I got your back. Come on, baby. You created this. You can destroy this. Yeah, we'll ride north. We'll, we'll tell them that we're going on a supply run. Yeah, but we're not coming back. No, we're gonna go AWOL. You know, if they catch us, they will hang us. Then we hang together. Ma'am? <clears throat> yeah. Deke, Colonel wants to see you. Be right there. Patrick, what you need, I'll be back. Thank you. I got your back, bruh. Corporal St. John. Colonel, sir. Come with me, please. Are we ready? Colonel, sir. Yes, sir. That shit is locked and loaded. Oh. Bike's already loaded, sir. I'm not sure if I understand. Lieutenant Weaver's weapon is finished. We're ready to test it. Hell yeah. Are you ready to burn down a horde? Oh. Something wrong? No, sir. No, no, no. Um. Hell yeah. Let's get this done. All right. How you talking, man? Gentlemen. This is the start of a new era. Carry on. Lieutenant Weaver, with me. Yes, sir. I figured that I think you should stay up here and let me do this alone. What the fuck? You got a death wish? No. That's why I think I should go in alone. Look, even with Weaver's jacked up Molotovs, we can't take an entire horde all at once. No. So, uh... I figure I go down there. A one-man job, baby. Attention. I pull off a few at a time and then I run like hell. And I gotta find some way to slow them down, maybe set a few traps. Oh my lord. And then I blow him to hell. Look, two of us running around down there. It's gonna be chaos. We'll just pull the horde down on each other. No, you stay up here. You keep an eye on me. If shit goes south, you ride in there, you get me the hell out. Hmm? Unless you got a better plan. I got nothing. <laughs> Got more Molotovs, ammo, and my saddlebags. Good, good. Uh, shit's gonna come in handy. All right, guys. Um, this video is running pretty long. If you guys want to find out what happens next, man, make sure you guys tune in to the next episode. Until then, man. Saint the Diamond. And I'm out, baby.